a lot of times when i connect with you guys on my interview prep calls i've seen so many if you don't even have a good portfolio website which is honestly super important in this current job market because nowadays when you reach out to someone for a job referral generally people prefer a portfolio website over a resume because it saves so much of their time right and since uh, everyone's now talking about this new tool bolt.new i thought let's just go on and see how easy it is to make a portfolio website a modern portfolio website with multiple animations and stuff and then we will go on and deploy it on our own custom domain as well so i'll start with build a portfolio website in react js and what are the things that we would need uh, i think we would need a hero section right uh, about a section i think it would be smart enough to know all of those things but for experience and education section i want it to be displayed in a timeline manner right so let's just say make sure to add timeline for experience section okay and um, let's just do one thing i'll just give it my image right here and i'll tell it use the attached image for hero section or about section whatever it wants to use it will like wherever it wants to use it let's just go and see how well it generates a portfolio website and the best part about this tool is it gives us this uh, code editor like interface right so it's using stack blitz ide so it gives us the complete code and it sets up everything so you see how easy it is nowadays to set up a react app and you don't need to code you know everything from scratch we have tools like this to help us out okay it's generating about experience hero section timeline for our experience section i'm assuming so yeah let's see i guess it it is done let's see the preview okay so it has given me this portfolio website right here with this hero section and about me section i'm not sure why i did not use the image that i gave it i guess we'll we'll figure that out later on okay skills and expertise and you can see the timeline uh, ui for the experience over here as well okay nice below this we have featured projects it has given us some random projects i'll just i'll give it the real projects as well so that it can place it uh, over there and then it has this contact me section as well awesome let's just improve some things so first of all what i want to do is i want to make the hero section like a modern you know saas app type uh, ui so let's just do that and you can see it has started writing this gradients.ts file it is updating the tailwind uh, configuration as well okay and i think it's done let's see how it looks like wow that's amazing let's see okay we have same about section okay it's, it says just updated the hero section but like it's pretty catchy not going to lie okay but one more thing that i want to do over here is i want to add some animation to this website and let's say if i'm someone who do, uh, does not know a library like framer motion or react spring so let's just tell it can you use framer motion to add cool animations bekar hai bhaiya main to toot gaya so let's see how uh, well it creates this okay you can see it is installing framer motion over here it has created this animations.ts file and everything is organized well in this uh, fold in these folders okay right here we have some animations uh, objects defined right here and now it's updating this hero section right here okay moment of truth amazing you can see as the website loaded these popped up and if i go down okay yep this is you know appearing on scroll now and yeah these icons are also animated awesome these cards are animated let's just do one thing um let's just see the projects oh nice they have some zoom in effect now if i click on these projects i want them to pop up into a model right and then we have this get in touch okay that's fine let's just start giving it my own details so i'm going to say use the following data first of all for the you know experience and education i'll just give it my education experience all of these things then after this i'll give it my projects right here let me just say experience let's see if it uh, you know properly generates the uh, you know description for these projects and let me just say when we click on a project i want the card to grow into a model and display more info so let's see how it looks like one thing i forgot i forgot to give it my name never mind we'll update that next you can see it is properly structuring our projects into these objects so title description and where did it go so yeah right here uh, and obviously you can you know replace this github with your github link as well i forgot to do that features impact and all these things again it has generated some you know 
features on its own but this is something where human intervention comes into picture right you can improve or you know change these features according to your app now it's creating this project model and projects component over here as well and again you can see it's using framer motion over here so motion.dev and all of these things all right there we go let's go down about me okay we will we need to fix this obviously skills and expertise yep that's right experience okay there we go all right it has properly aligned all of them over here awesome these look amazing inside of the featured projects we have hired schedule scrum reflect and you can see when i click on this projects over here we can see a pop-up just like we asked it to do for all of these projects amazing and obviously we have get in touch over here as well and if you're someone who's preparing for front-end interviews you can definitely go and check out my front-end interview preparation course this is the only thing that you will ever need to prepare for your front-end interviews and not only this i've covered every single topic of react js like react router dom redux all of the hooks class-based component function-based component react even the performance optimization which is asked from senior developers a lot tons of machine coding questions as well and obviously in-depth interview preparation course on javascript as well and not just this along with this course you get an active discord community where you can ask your doubts whenever you get stuck and we will be there to help you so click the link in the description down below or you can also scan this qr code on your screen to go directly to the course page let's do one thing let's integrate um, email js over here so that we can send emails and stuff right so okay and again you can you know change these contact information according to you i'll mention something about me so about me also my name is piyush agarwal integrate email js for contact form okay let's go i think this should do like this should be the final blow for our application and it should be good to go you can see it has installed this email js slash browser over here and I think we would need to go on and create email JS account as well. So let's go on over here. Click on sign in. Okay, I've created this account on email JS. Let's say what it gave us right here. Okay, everything it's fine over here. And let's just first check the about us. Okay, it has generated some about us tailored to me. That's right. If I come down at the bottom, it has generated some random email and random location here. Okay, that's fine name email and message obviously this won't work because it would need all of these environment variables to be put inside of the contact component so if i go to the code over here in the contact it would have yep it has left all of these fields empty right here okay so let's go to email js over here and let's click on email templates and create new template okay let's just say new message from this person i mean this is the uh, email that i will receive when someone uses my contact form right so let's keep it simple so hello uh, whatever the two name is you got a message from from name and instead of this two name over here let's just say hello piyush over here so i'm gonna say hello piyush and yeah i think let's just save it let's use these variables over here from name message let's see if uh, it has used it over here or not so when we click on on submit over here this is handle submit inside this handle submit we are getting this event with all of these things okay then um let's just save this we would need a few things over here like template id and all so let's just do one thing i'll go on and download this whole project from over here let's say portfolio and save it okay there we go i've opened this folder right here in my vs code let's just go on and try to run this i'll say npm install to install all of the dependencies inside this package.json file right and um, i'll actually go inside this src inside of the components and contact dot tsx okay so in our contact form over here we're supposed to replace this with our environment variables right so let's just create our environment variables i'll create a new file over here dot env and we would need these three variables over here service id template id and public key so let's take them from our email js first of all in the settings i'll get the template id so this template id for our public key and service id just go to the account over here and get this public key so let's replace the public key and for service id we would need to add a service over here uh, let's just say gmail and there we go we have the service id let's say create service uh, okay we're supposed to connect our account and i'll take this service id and let's say create service and i'll replace my service id right here okay now we need to replace all of these three things so in wheat what do we need to do we need to say 
import dot meta dot env wheat email js service id like whatever the variable is right and same with both of these over here as well and yeah i think uh, that should do it let's go on and try running our app so i'll say npm run dev there we go let's open this local host okay there we go you can see about me over here skills and expertise some education and obviously you need to make changes according to your own projects and all like for example over here in for these photos i would recommend you know you can re replace them with the screenshot of your app like for example we have this hired job portal right you can probably replace the you know image with this uh, hero section of this app right and by the way this this projects and all of these other projects that i've mentioned over here you can find tutorials to all of them in my youtube channel link will be in the description down below all right let's replace this image right here with my own image so in vs code we have where is it inside of this about i guess yeah about we have this image so they have taken it randomly from one splash let's create a public folder over here public just like that instead of it i've put this image piyush.png okay let's go on and use it right over here so piyush.png slash okay let's see oh that looks pretty good nice and you can see how easy it was to you know build this portfolio website using bold.ai and let's go on and quickly deploy it on a custom domain click the first link in the description down below and you will land on hostinger and you know right now the biggest black friday sale of the year is on so i don't want you guys to miss on this opportunity because hostinger is the only brand in india to provide affordable hosting with great features like free domain email unlimited ssl etc and the best part is that they have a new data center in mumbai now so that we can get great speed and uptime so now i'm going to click on this claim deal button over here and you can see they have multiple different options so let me choose this premium web hosting and it will take you to this page over here where you can select the duration for your web hosting if you are getting started you can either choose 12 months plan or 24 months plan but if your pocket allows definitely i would recommend you go for this 48 months plan because this is the most affordable plan out there and not just this i've got you guys sorted with my own coupon code so just click on over here have a coupon code and enter roadside coder click on apply and boom you get an additional 10% off amazing let's click on continue over here and let's go on and sign in over here there we go i've logged in successfully let me just enter my details and click on continue all right so we are inside of our dashboard now and let's quickly claim our domain so i'm going to enter roadside coder dot in and you can see we have bunch of different domains over here to choose from so let's click on check availability and yep our domain is available let's claim the domain let's just uh, complete the registration by entering that this is my personal domain let's enter my details and after you're done just click on finish registration and it's going to show you the summary of your details click on this checkbox and complete registration there we go our domain has been secured we can just skip over here and here it is here's the dashboard for our domain um now this might take some time like 10 to 20 minutes to you know get your domain secured for hostinger so meanwhile let's go on and set up our premium web hosting and it's going to ask me a few questions so let's just give me this for me i want to create a website what do you want to create a website with you can also choose hostinger's website builder if you want so i'm going to skip that for now and i'll choose my roadside coder dot in domain let's select my country which is already selected india and now it's going to be initializing our website for us and there you go we're done with it and you can see over here it's going to show us that our domain is being connected it might just take around 12 minutes a few moments later and great our domain is connected you can see our website is running smoothly they also have a 30 days money back guarantee and a great 24/7 customer support in case you get stuck anywhere in this process so let's go on and build our app and we will deploy it on hostinger so i'll kill my server over here and i'll say npm run build okay let's see there we go we have this dist folder right here all right so i'm back on hostinger and right here let's just create a subdomain to host my portfolio along with these other projects so i'll just say let's just say me dot roadside coder dot in and i'll click on create over here but uh, yeah you can see it has already created this slash me folder for me okay let's go to overview and click on file manager over here and right here inside of the public html you can see we have this me folder right so just delete this uh, default dot php and this is the place where we will be keeping our build folder so let's click on reveal in file explorer and i'll take everything inside the dist over here 
and drag and drop all of these things over here inside this. So yeah, I think uh, this should do it. That that was as easy as that. So I'll just say me dot roadside coder dot in press enter and we should see our portfolio website hosted right here. Amazing. You can see how easy it was to build and deploy this portfolio website. It just took us few minutes. Obviously there are some improvement that needs to be done, but this, these things are very small, right? Main thing was writing the code and improving the UI, adding the animations, all of these things. And we have done that in a breeze. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to make more such videos using bolt.new and subscribe to the channel for more such awesome tutorials.